guys welcome to this update video i hope you're doing awesome today and we're gonna get straight into what is happening across the atlantic so there we're seeing that robust activity uh just about to well, basically emerging from the african coast so that could be our fifth tropical wave and i mean uh this kind of activity this week we've had quite a bit of tropical waves make their way off of africa this week and so uh this is the kind of activity usually seeing headed to the peak of the hurricane season so that is uh from mid-august through october that's usually when the most activity occurs and the statistical peak of hurricane season is september 10th so september is usually one of the most if not the most active months of the season and here we've got this robust tropical wave but there is no uh anticipated development for the short term so for the next uh, couple of days the next week or so not expecting to see anything try to materialize in the atlantic however in the eastern pacific the first ever tropical wave of the season has made its way over there and is a marked disturbance so it could try to get itself together uh, it has a low chance of attaining tropical cyclone status as of right now so through the next seven days or the next week it only has a uh, low chance of uh, acquiring tropical characteristics to be classified as a cyclone but there's definitely been some rain around in parts of the caribbean the lesser antilles grenada for example it was so hot in many areas but uh, a lot of persons received some decent downpours even in trinidad and there was also some minor flooding within some areas. I saw some photos. And elsewhere in the Caribbean, the southwestern Caribbean has been quite active. And uh, there has been that afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity across uh, parts of the greater Antilles as well, such as Jamaica, for example, although not widespread for the entirety of the island. Let's get into the rainfall forecast for today. So here we're looking at what Euro is showing. And we can see that the map gets pretty colorful and the more color we see indicates more rainfall. So the colors are showing the rainfall amounts in inches. There we've got that key over to the right side of your screen. So for the most part, there could be some substantial downpours along with thunderstorms in sections of Cuba, especially for eastern Cuba, even the Cayman Islands, which have been so dry. So hopefully you get uh, you guys get that increase in rainfall activity similar thing for jamaica it's kind of the story where we have these afternoon thunderstorms building uh that could definitely happen again as we're going to be heading throughout today it's pretty likely parts of hispaniola as well sections of the bahamas turks and caicos puerto rico near the virgin islands as well but as we head to the vicinity of the northeastern islands angola St. Martin, St. Barthelme, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Eustatius, Montserrat, Antigua, Barbuda, even towards Guadalupe. Uh, there may not be that much rain tomorrow, but a few showers could definitely pass by. And also for Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia as well, there could be some showers loitering. And uh, with the tropical wave that was uh, enhancing the rain, it's moving further to the west and it's also pretty weak. So it is not producing a whole lot of activity. ABC Islands, some showers could definitely be nearby. And then for parts of Northern South America, Colombia through the Guyanas, we see that it's pretty colorful, probably up to three inches of rain in some areas. Central America for Nicaragua, more rain is on the way. So it has been pretty wet in this area here. And it is likely to remain wet through today. There could be an additional two, two and a half inches of rainfall. So there could be some more instances of flooding as we're going to be heading throughout today. And there could also be some heavy downpours in parts of Honduras, going to El Salvador, southern Guatemala, and even near Belize. So that is what the Euro model is showing in terms of rain. And then for winds, it's going to be a pretty windy day for much of the eastern islands. Winds going up to 15, 20 knots, especially for the ABC islands. And as the day goes by, it will get a bit windier in parts of the Bahamas and other sections of the Gulf of Mexico as well back to what is going on as it relates to africa so we've got these tropical waves coming off in their numbers every two to three days you've got a new one making its way off the coast and as i said development is not expected for the short term although that moisture increase for the north caribbean which i talked about in my previous uh, previous videos that is still anticipated so uh that should happen as we're going to be heading into next week some areas will definitely experience that increase in 
rainfall activity and hopefully it helps out with those uh, places which have been experiencing a lot of drought conditions because I mean uh, there hasn't been a lot of rain in many areas many areas have gotten a lot of decent rain others have still been dry and hot so hopefully that comes to fruition but it definitely looks as though it will be happening there's pretty good model agreement about that rainfall increase for parts of the northern caribbean but as it relates to the tropical waves we see them coming off looking robust but it's kind of like a race so let us think of the analogy of a long distance race so let's say you know you've had a strong breakfast you're ready to go and you know win that race you go you have a lot of energy ready set go as soon as you go off uh you know you start off there's a lot of energy packed but you go off to a very fast start for a long distance race and then what happens when you're uh just a couple seconds in you get tired you're slowed down uh hyperventilated and unable to uh, sustain yourself for much longer so kind of the same thing with these tropical waves they come off of africa they're very robust lots of convection associated with them but as soon as they make their way into an unfavorable environment, they diminish. They lose that momentum because what? The environment is not in their favor. It's not highly favorable to allow them to actually sustain a lot of activity. So that is what is happening. We've got the dry air out. They're induced by the Saharan air layer along with those strong upper level winds which inhibit development or significant development as well. So those unfavorable factors are definitely not uncommon at this time of year usually there isn't a whole lot of development but it's really as we head into august going to september october when we see the bulk of activity during the hurricane season so yes we've got all these new tropical waves coming off of africa a lot of them in the space of just a few days but they are not able to sustain themselves because the environment is not super conducive right now to allow for development so as i mentioned before nothing is marked in the atlantic for development not expecting to see any significant development over the course of the next couple of days however i'm here to keep you guys posted and again as it relates to the hurricane season on a whole it is likely to be a very active one going back to noah's forecast uh several days ago 85 percent chance of above normal activity so it's likely to be a very active year and we could definitely see more systems try to affect the Caribbean and surrounding areas. So now for the next six months, we're going to be uh, in that kind of phase. So it is uh, that time where, you know, we should review our plans and have certain things put in place just in case we should be affected. It doesn't mean that, hey, this area, this island is going to get hit this year. No, but if you're in that risk zone, there's a chance that you could be hit as a result, there should be those steps in place to ensure that, you know, should this happen, this is the course of action that I'm going to take with my family to ensure or safety, you know, things like that. It's a good time to review those plans. And of course, I'm going to keep you guys posted and do what I do to the best of my ability. So that is it for this video. I really do hope you found it to be very informative. And if you do have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.